What's next? It's big. It's broad. It's next on Sunday. With six sections and pullouts, including glossy color fashion magazine, Elan. There's something in it for everyone. Next on Sunday, ask your vendor and buy it. Hello and welcome to Next News. Nigeria's Joint Military Task Force, JTF, says there are plans by certain foreign-based supporters of the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta men to launch an international campaign against its commanders. JTF said in a statement on Sunday in Ephraim Delta State that the purported campaign would claim that illegal oil bunkering in the area was being jointly perpetrated with the support of the JTF commanders and that the commanders were exceptionally rich from proceeds of their bunkering activities. The movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta meant say there was no attack around the Bugumar Creek axis as claimed by the military task force. In an email statement to Next, Jomo Gbomo, men's spokesperson, said the leader of a small group of fighters around the Bugumar Creek axis in River State confirmed that there was no attack in his camp as claimed by the military JTF. The statement said the group leader was asked to cooperate by giving the impression his camp had been overrun. Mr. Gbomo called the GTF Act a dubious sign of desperation. Nigeria Senate Majority Leader Teslim Folari said on Sunday in Ibadan, Oyo State, that the National Assembly would demilitarize Nigerian laws. Mr. Folari said that the National Assembly would convert many decrees into acts of parliament. The Senate leader also said that the Assembly was in possession of the Electoral Reform Bill and that the bill was already going through the legislative process. The Oyo State Chapter of the Action Congress in Nigeria has warned the State House of Assembly against reducing to two years the three-year tenure of the elected local government officials. The party said in a statement signed by its Director of Publicity and Strategy, Wasiu Olatumbosun, that such a move could jeopardize the growth of democracy.